Hi everyone, in the last session we studied theoretical aspects of redemption of preference shades. Today let us see how to pass the accounting entries for the redemption of preference shades. Let us observe the question. Crystal Limited has preference share capital of rupees 5 lakh in 5000 preference shares of rupees 100 paid up. It is resolved to redeem the shares at a premium of 20 percent after fulfilling the formalities. The company makes the following issues 25,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each at a premium of 50 percent, 1000 10 percent debentures of rupees 100 each. The company sold its fixed assets costing rupees 1 lakh for rupees 80,000. The company had a credit balance in profit and loss account rupees 1 lakh 50,000 and general reserve of rupees 2 lakh pass entries required for the implementation of the scheme. This is the question. Let us see which are the items given in this question. Preference share capital of rupees 5 lakh was there. They have to redeem such preference share at a premium of 20 percent. 25,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each at a premium of rupees 50 of 50 percent are issued for the purpose of redemption. Again it issues 1000 10 percent debentures of rupees 100 each for the purpose of redemption. Along with that it sells its fixed assets costing rupees 1 lakh for rupees 80,000 and it had a balance of rupees 1 lakh 50,000 in profit and loss account and in general reserve rupees 2 lakh. Let us proceed with the redemption. As we studied in the last session, the accounting entries for redemption of preference shades are passed in four steps. First step is to pass entries for issue of shades, issue of debentures or sale of fixed assets if any. And the second step is to create provision for premium on redemption out of securities premium account balance and or divisible profits if any. And third step is for creating capital redemption reserve out of divisible profits and finally we can proceed with actual redemption of preference shades. Let us see the procedure. If we focus on the problem it gives that the preference share capital to be redeemed is 5 lakh and it is given that they have to redeem the preference shares at 5 percent premium. Let us see the premium to be paid on redemption it is 20 percent sorry 20 percent of 5 lakh is a premium on redemption. It is equal to rupees 1 lakh. For the purpose of redemption of preference share capital of rupees 5 lakh at a premium of rupees 1 lakh the company makes a fresh issue of shares 25,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each are issued. It generates 2 lakh 50,000 proceeds from fresh issue of shares and such shares are issued at a premium of 50 percent, 50 percent of capital 2 lakh 50,000. So, 1 lakh 25,000 is the premium on issue. Let us observe the divisible profits available. The company has 1 lakh 50,000 in profit and loss account. and 2 lakh in general reserve. So, total divisible profits available for redemption is here 3 lakh 50 thousand. And as we know that the nominal amount of preference share capital to be redeemed must be out of fresh issue of shares and or out of divisible profits. Even though company issues debentures for the purpose of redemption, sells its fixed assets for the purpose of redemption, the proceeds from such issue of debentures as well as proceeds from sale of fixed assets cannot be taken into consideration for redemption of 
nominal value of preference share capital. So, we have to consider the issue of shares proceeds from fresh issue of shares and if it is not sufficient, we can go for divisible profits. And the premium on redemption is 1 lakh, the provision for premium on redemption can be made out of premium on fresh issue or securities premium account balance if any. If it is not sufficient, we can go for divisible profits. See here, the preferential capital to be redeemed is 5 lakh, the proceeds from issue of shares is 2 lakh 50 thousand, then what will be the amount to be utilized out of divisible profits remaining 2 lakh 50 thousand. And the premium on redemption is 1 lakh and securities premium on fresh issue is 1 lakh 25 thousand which is greater than the amount of premium on redemption. So, entire premium on redemption can be provided for out of securities premium account balance of rupees 1 lakh 50 thousand 25 thousand. So, we need not go for divisible profits for creation of premium on redemption. And one more thing we have to remember here, the company sells its fixed assets costing rupees 1 lakh for rupees 80,000. It shows that there is a loss on sale of fixed assets amounting to rupees 20,000. Obviously, we have to transfer such loss on sale of fixed assets to our profit and loss account. So, the profit and loss account balance which is given in the balance sheet to be reduced by rupees 20,000 loss on sale of fixed assets and the now available profit and loss account balance is only rupees 1,30,000 and this 2,50,000 which was to be taken from divisible profits can be taken from both profit and loss account and general reserve. 1,30,000 the available profits that can be taken fully 1,30,000 and remaining balance required has to be taken from general reserve. Total general reserve account balance available is 2 lakh and 1,30,000 is taken from profit and loss account remaining 1,20,000 we can take from general reserve. Now, the balance transferred from profit and loss account is 1,30,000 and from general reserve is 1,20,000. It is utilized for redemption of share capital nominal value. So, whenever the preference share capital is redeemed out of divisible profits, it means that we have to create a capital redemption reserve to the extent of rupees 2 lakh 50,000. This is the amount of capital redemption reserve to be created. And by this table we can find how the accounting entries can be passed for redemption of preferentiates. As I said earlier, first step is to pass entries for fresh issue of equity shares, fresh issue of debentures or sale of any fixed assets. So, here this gives information for passing the entry under first step. See, this shows fresh issue of equity shares made by the company at a premium of rupees 5, 50 percent. This helps to pass entry under first step. And second step is to create the premium, provision for premium on redemption and this, it, this information helps to you to pass the entry under second step and third step is to create capital redemption reserve and this information helps to you to pass the entry under third step and finally, we have to proceed with redemption of preferentiates and this information will help you to pass the entries under fourth step. Let us proceed with all the accounting entries in the next session. Thank you.